Hi, my name is Mike Hawkins, and I'm the Associate Director of Networking at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I've been in a job for 15 years, and I've worked on the UNC campus for 25. My group is the tier of last resort for the uh, network uh, at the university. If someone can't solve a problem, we find out about it and solve it. Uh, my group um, <clears throat> is responsible for the network 7x24, 365. My job is to supervise our network managers and also to help develop the features of our network for the, uh, uh, for the future. Uh, our network, our, our university is uh, a major uh, research and teaching and service institution in the southeast. It's in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Uh, we have a very large network that extends not only to our campus, about 190 buildings on campus, but also about 80 buildings in the, in the town of Chapel Hill uh, itself. Um, we have 80,000 active users every day, and in many cases, 14 to 15,000 wireless users every day. It's important in the university to, um, first and foremost, allow people to get the work done they need. They, they, don't not, they do not need to be um, encumbered with getting to where they need to go with their computers and their systems. Um, a network is, a, a university is essentially an open environment. <clears throat> it is necessary to be open to not encumber research and teaching and all the administration that must go on on a day-to-day -day basis. In addition, you don't want to encumber too much all those visitors that come on campus every day. Uh, it is important for security to be reactive. Uh, for example, our NAC solution is a very targeted kind of solution. It is one of many multi-pronged approaches that we take to security. Um, it, it is a solution whereby if someone uh, from any one of a number of input devices we find is violating uh, a policy or uh, they, have a, they have a compromised piece of software. It, it is a way for us to very precisely know where they are, locate them, and apply a policy to them that does not allow them to do that kind of communication. Um, the NAC solution is very important because it gives us uh, location, uh, identification, uh, assessment and remediation. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we, are, we, have, we have expanded this to approximately a third of our campus today and we have plans in the next few years to expand it to the entire campus. Two things about Interesis that are, are, are of value to me. One is the fact that there's a great deal of capability and pride in the people who develop the firmware and the management software their commitment to excellence and getting things right and taking feedback and owning things when they're broken. Uh, that is, um, that's one of the reasons uh, they keep winning our business over and over. Um, secondly, I would say the support from Interesis, the uh, Global Technical Assistance Center, the support we get from those folks is second to none. Um, it's very important to be able to contact people when you need them with precisely what you need. And also it's very important if you, if you come along with something that's out of the ordinary and it's a very difficult problem, it's, it's important for that support organization to be able to get access to engineers and programmers. And uh, the, the way Interesis does uh, support just makes a lot of sense. You, uh, you, you can get support from some other organizations and, and those people have no contact whatsoever to those people who actually wrote the product or developed the product. So, uh, I think that's a that's a that's another key element as to why we keep doing business with the Dares.